good. Thank you. Well, that's a tiny little king over there. <laughs> this seat is very hot. I don't know what he was doing on here. <laughs> it literally is hot. <laughs> okay. We're all really nervous. <laughs> Why? Because we're all so passionate about the show. Oh! <laughs> I love that. So you got like the. So you guys are like, like subduing your enthusiasm. I know. I keep like asking a question, then I'm like, okay, and then everyone's like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about this? All together, let's take a deep breath. <sighs> Feels good. I'm trying to like meditate more and like just really be conscious. That wasn't. I'm, I'm a very naturally yeah, anxious but, person. Yes. Like for no reason. Like, it's really annoying. Like you guys are very pleasant, but I'm nervous. Just because maybe I'm on the spot. But like, it's so. Nervous. I couldn't sleep last night because I was like, we haven't been pressed in months and months, and I don't know. Anyway. Well, this is my first time doing anything like this. So, <laughs> well, this is a fun. Oh wow! I wish I knew that before then. we started. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, you ask a question. I'm like, oh yeah, I've really not done this at all. So. Well, welcome. This is my yeah. first Comic Con. Oh, oh, that's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Do you geek out of No, I don't. I mean, I know that's probably not the answer that you want, but I don't. <laughs> no. I mean, I, I appreciate, but I don't geek out. Like, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I didn't, uh, I, yeah. I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> so your character has kind of like, well, screwed up family, but like he has an <laughs> yes. allegiance to his family and he has an allegiance to his heart. So like, can you talk a little bit about that and what we're going to see with that in season two, if you can, anything at all? I think season two is allegiance to his family. Um, is kind of just uh, going out the window. I think he's a little bit like, uh, I don't want to be the same type of mains man that my father was, my grandfather. I don't want that, you know, so... Um, I want. I think a lot of his journey this season is like, how do I redefine the mains man? Like, how do I redefine myself? How do I? Because like in season one, he started off in his shell. You know, he was fairly newly um, out of the air force with with a prosthetic leg, and he was a broken man. You know, that's yeah. Is that a mosquito? No, it's a fly. Oh, okay. yeah. Annoying fly. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I feel like this season, he's really stepped into his power, and he's very, um, I think he's angry. He's very angry. So he's starting some fights. He's like really fighting for what he wants, for information from the military, from his father. Um, as you saw in season one, his father. Excuse me. Gets hit over the head by Kyle Valenti. Puts my father in like a pretty um, vulnerable position because he's he's suffering some brain damage. He's in the hospital. So there's like a little bit of a, a power shift with with Alex and his father. So Alex now feels like you know he can ask the questions and he's going to get the answers. You know. Um, so it's really like his allegiance is now more about his heart than anything else. And he, he's going to get it. So it's fun. It's fun. Like, um, building this character from like a veteran point of view, because like you know you're still like you're involved in the Air Force and stuff, yeah. so just like going into that role, and, you know, researching what these um, yeah. veterans have gone through. Yeah, I mean, kind of unfortunately, no offense to Frida or anybody, but we haven't really explored his time in the Air Force enough, in my opinion. Um, so I haven't had to do very specific research, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, for me it was more about like, what can I, I mean I've never been to war, thank God, you know, but like what can I, what can I take from my experience in life, you know, um, which luckily has been pretty cush, though I can probably find something that, that would feel so um, intense, you know, it's such a, it's such a purpose for someone, when they join the military, that responsibility level is, Amazing, and like people are, are so respectable, but it's like to then feel so broken at the end of that, it's like high highs and low lows, you know what I mean? And then for you to be forever scarred, that's, I mean, that's intense. So, for me, from the, the veteran standpoint, it was obviously a little bit of research, a, a lot about people who have like who, who have lost limbs. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of talk about like what side of like is it your right arm or your left arm that you hold your crutch like you know and, and I just really realized in doing research it's like 
whatever you want, whatever's comfortable. You know, there's no rhyme or reason. There's no like correct way to like live life with a prosthetic leg, emotionally, physically, anything. You know what I mean? Um, because I was nervous about that. I was like, I'm re representing like a group of people who have been through a lot, and I want to, I want to, you know, respect that. So, um, yeah, did that answer your question? Yeah, yeah. I okay. think it's like a, just another layer to the character. Like on top of dealing with your family, dealing with you know your relationships, it's just this other layer that you know constantly going on. Correct. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I've never played a role where every scene I have to have prosthetic clip. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There are certain scenes where like if he's just standing or, or, or walking slowly, like you don't really have to worry about it. You know, people run marathons with those things. Mm -hmm. Um but then there are other scenes where you're like, oh my gosh, like he wouldn't be able to do this. Like there's a scene in one of the episodes where I like pop a fence. And I literally was like, I think he would have to in this in the way I was having to do it, like lift his own leg out. Do you know what I mean? Um, just little things like that that you that aren't written but you kinda have to think about those things. So it's intense. It's really intense. How has um how has Alex like affected you your personal life? And yeah, I mean, I uh, the biggest way is I felt like it kind of gave me courage and permission to be more honest about my sexuality. Um, he, you know, he's he's gay. I'm bisexual, but still, it's like he was so oppressed and. and and ashamed of who he was for so long and I understood that and for me it was like Alex is fighting yeah. for his happiness and I want to do that same thing you know what I mean um, that's the biggest way um, that it affects my personal life and it's really all that, that, that I can say to be honest because <laughs> it was massive you know yeah. um, it was massive for me so yeah Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have fun.